This is Lemmy with Revzilla, here to talk to you today about LightTech levers and guards. You should be looking into a set of LightTech levers or guards in a couple scenarios. First, if you have busted off your levers. Second, you probably want to check them out if you're looking to really drop some weight because you're insane about dropping weight from your track day motorcycle. And you might also consider them too if you have a million year old bike with non-adjustable levers. These are currently being made for a pretty wide variety of bikes. Definitely check out our bike finder. We're gonna show you the ones that are made specifically for your bike. Know though that LightTech is concentrating primarily on metric bikes. Installation on these isn't too bad. We're looking at two beards on our BSD, our beard scale of difficulty. Putting on a brake lever is pretty easy, really fast. Most of you should get done with that in about five minutes. Clutch lever can be just a little bit trickier. We'll talk more about that in just a moment. So let's break it right out here. LightTech, fancy Italian company making fancy Italian motorcycle parts. So LightTech cranks out levers. These are a little bit different than your stock pieces in a couple of different ways. Primarily, these are geared for the super insane hardcore track rider. So if that's you, this is something you're gonna wanna look at. So let's talk about what makes a LightTech lever a little bit different than what might be on your bike already as an OEM unit. So taking a peek at these things, the first thing that you can't actually see is how much these things weigh. They're really, really light because they're made of magnesium. That is the lightest structural metal that can be used really for practically for making motorcycle parts. So these are already very, very light. So your factory levers are most likely aluminum. These are gonna be um, a little bit lighter just by nature of what they're made of. The other thing you should know about these two is these are folding levers. They pop up. So in the event your bike does go down, say you're on the clutch side, as soon as you make contact with the ground, these things will move upwards. It's gonna give you a better chance at not snapping your lever. One of the other things too that they've built in here, which is pretty cool, these breakaway tips. Again, presuming that for some reason the folding capability of this doesn't work, or perhaps you hit the limit of the extension on there, the breakaway tips are designed to take some of the impact and actually snap off. Now that probably doesn't sound like the greatest thing in the world, except for those of you who are spending all sorts of money loading up the trailer, heading out to a track day, the difference between ending your track day early and perhaps getting right back out there and going for another round uh, might be the difference between having a great weekend and not. If you got a lot of money tied up into your track days, um, that, that actually can represent a pretty good value there. So as I had mentioned earlier in the video, you should also be checking these out too. If you're looking for a little bit of adjustability, you'll notice that some of these are actually adjustable. Uh, all the brake levers that they're gonna offer are gonna be adjustable. Now, unless you're riding around on a super old sport bike, you probably have an adjustable brake lever. But for those of you who are rocking, say, a hydraulic clutch in your bike, those are typically all going to come from LightTech with an adjuster as well. So if you've got a hydraulic clutch and it engages at a weird area and your factory lever is not adjustable, you'll be able to change that up with a set of LightTech levers. Now, I'll be perfectly frank with you, I don't know that I would run immediately out and grab a LightTech lever, but like I had said, you might want to think about these in a replacement sort of a scenario. So maybe run your factory ones until you do have that first get off and recognize that you can upgrade your levers once, uh, once that unfortunate scenario does occur. Now rounding things out too, we have lever guards up here. Lever guards, lever guards, I don't know how you guys say it, either way. Um, lever guards, for those of you who watch MotoGP, perhaps some of the other forms of racing too, are designed specifically to cover the area right by your brake or clutch lever. Now you'll see these in use, again, on racing bikes, specifically uh, to guard that brake lever. If you haven't seen a crash, you can YouTube a million of them, where somebody gets near somebody else, the brake lever makes contact, uh, instantly the front brake will wind up locking, and a high side is usually the result. It can be pretty nasty. It's a nice piece of protection to throw on at the track. So something to consider too about these. Unlike their lever counterparts, these are actually made of aluminum, uh, not magnesium. Again, for a little better strength, given this is sort of a protective part, they want something a little stronger there. But one of the things that is cool is you flip this thing over and you can actually look in here, check out all the milling in here. Man, they just, they get so much material out of these. LightTech, again, fanatical about weight loss. So if you're one of those riders who's out there and you have to have the very lightest bike possible, this is the stuff you wanna look at just given how light it is. Now let's chat about that installation really briefly. As I'd mentioned, it's a pretty simple install. Brake lever should be cake for just about all of you. The only part that might get slightly hairy is for those of you with cable clutches, you will have to loosen or slacken up your clutch cable enough to physically get the old, uh, your old lever off and your new one on. For most of you, it should just be adjusting all the slack out at both the case and as well as at the lever. Some of you may actually have to, you know, remove your clutch cable entirely. Either way, if you know how to replace a clutch cable, you should be set to fly on these. We'll call it two beards in our BSD or beard scale of difficulty, standard hand tools should see most of you through this job, not particularly difficult. 
So all in all, I really like this stuff. It's well thought out, well machined, well executed. Litech makes fantastic products. Their levers and guards are no exception. Don't take my word for it though. Use either your desktop computer or your fancy internet equipped cell phone. Click that info button, see what some other riders are saying about these who are rocking them on their motorcycles. If you need a little bit of help beyond that, whether it's installation or perhaps parts selection, or you just want to talk to somebody who's used a set of these, get on the horn with one of our gear geeks. 877-792-9455 to reach one by phone. You can always drop us an email too. CS at RevZilla.com. I'm Lemmy. I'm out of here.